This is Cambodia's rice-growing heartland. The northwestern part of the country produces much of Cambodia's export quality rice. The region is crucial to Cambodia's agrarian-based economy. But the country experienced devastating floods in 2011. These caused more than $600 million in economic losses and major damage to infrastructure. Powerful storms lashed the region once again in 2013. Rivers overflowed, making recovery efforts even more challenging. Well, I think everybody knows and understands that climate change is now a global issue. Uh, and it is also an issue for Cambodia. So the patterns are changing, and it does mean that for reconstructing infrastructure that had been affected by the floods, we need to pay more attention now to how to build that infrastructure to be more climate-proof to future floods, because they are likely to reoccur. The ADB is leading the Flood Damage Emergency Reconstruction Project, working alongside the Royal Government of Cambodia. Other key development partners include the Government of Australia. The project has a budget of almost $70 million, and it's rebuilding and repairing more than 500 kilometres of roads, six bridges, and more than two dozen irrigation systems. Six of Cambodia's most severely affected provinces will benefit, Kompong Cham, Kompong Tom, Pre Veng, and Siem Reap, as well as Batambong and Bante Minche. The project will strengthen community-based disaster risk reduction and coordination in those places. During the worst periods of flooding, the roads became unusable. As a result, the poorest and most vulnerable households were most affected, particularly women and children. Once completed in 2015, the upgraded infrastructure will help reduce poverty by increasing agricultural productivity and improving access to markets, schools and social services.